former SAS, who dares win star Ant Middleton's company has reportedly gone bust, with the TV star and author reportedly owing £1. 2 million to the taxman. Previous accounts showed the TV star 42, raked in £4. 5 million in 2021 before he was let go from the Channel 4 show due to his personal conduct with contestants. The newest updates appear to show that End was forced to liquidize his main company after failing to meet its debts. This happened before Christmas and the firm's statement of affairs shows it was abandoned, meaning it owed £1,199,773 to HMRC and £3,318 to other creditors. According to The Sun, former SAS, who dares wins leader and, took out £2.7 million as a director's loan. In paperwork, it was noted that the TV star was uncertain about how much of the amount will be paid back. Ant's business, which was first set up 2014, traded as Middleton Global before changing its name to Sway and starting. The company name change came in November 2022. A spokesman for Ant told The Sun, due to the impact of lockdowns on Ant's work and the associated adverse effects on the company, unfortunately Middleton Global Limited has had to be placed into voluntary liquidation. Ant has an extremely busy year ahead and is focused on his TV work, brand deals, books and events. After being axed from the Channel 4 show, Ant launched a barrage of furious criticism aimed at SAS, who dares wins bosses. Channel 4 confirmed Ant's departure from SAS, who dares wins back in March 2021, and said he would be leaving the hit show over his personal conduct. Following a number of discussions, Channel 4 and Minnow Films have had with him in relation to his personal conduct it has become clear that our views and values are not aligned and we will not be working with him again, the statement read. In his book, called Mental Fitness, the 42-year-old claimed the producers no longer wanted uncompromising alpha males from the military, and knew he was unhappy with how the show was changing. They knew that I was going to jump so they pushed me first, he fired, claiming that the woke patrol had changed the show beyond recognition. Ant said his relationship with the producers had been gradually disintegrating, and while filming his last series in Scotland, he was miserable. I'd been enduring rather than enjoying it for a while and had to be talked into doing the last series by my management team, Ant stated, as he alleged the show had become too scripted. Health and safety had become too powerful. It had drifted away from what had made it so fun and exciting to be a part of, he raged. Ant recalled several incidents while filming the brutal reality show in which he was butting heads with the production team over health and safety protocol that he claimed was eroding the authenticity of the show. He was angered when some of the risky challenges, meant to push contestants to their limit, were watered down, and he was unable to have control over the tasks, leaving him threatening to walk away. He cited one incident, in which recruits were thrown into a freezing cold river, and after he asked them to get back in, he was overruled by health and safety chiefs on set. Unless this changes, I'm effing leaving. I'll walk off set. I cannot have my recruits interrupted halfway through a task. You're going to ruin the whole authenticity of the show. It's out of hand. The row was the final straw for Ant, and he issued a final warning to producers after being left disappointed with how the show was being run. Six weeks later, the production company called his agents, and they announced they wouldn't be working with the outspoken star anymore, and he said the woke patrol had scored a victory by having him removed from the series. 
follow Mirror Celebs on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.